Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, everyone, so this is going to be a Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising uh, weekly tarot reading August 12th to August 18th, 2019. And just bear with me a couple of seconds here to shuffle uh, the cards and we can jump right into it. All right, that will do. And uh, the first card, which stands for the topic of your Pisces week, that is going to be the Queen of Pentacles, followed by the second card, which represents the challenges that you need to overcome. And oh my, so what we do have, it's like a, uh, uh, how do you say it when someone is trying to prove something? Well, that will be you guys. It's like uh, um, we do have a, a person who, who encourages you and who truly helps you to, uh, to kind of like... Uh, get out of, of of trouble and get out of the jail if i may say it that way it's it's like a jail free card that you're gonna have to use throughout the week all right so the way i see these cards is that we do have someone with a lot of expectations a lot of demands this one here this one does not rely on compromises i mean for that person the king of swords is pretty much black or white and you are to, on your own, I mean, you are to struggle to meet this black or white criteria. But guess what? You do have someone on your behalf here as well, a queen of pentacles. Now, this woman, most likely, very proud of her achievements, very, how can I place it, very self-absorbed as well. And it's, it's a, a person who truly values the works of uh, the work of others, will help you to... Um, gather up, I would say, uh, those kind of means or an opportunities which are missing that are substantial to uh, impress or rather like to prove yourself in front of the King of Swords. That could be, for example, let's say your boss approaches you with a very tough project, they give it to you, and they are expecting you to do the job. I mean, they, they're not, because they say they're not paying you to explain them the problem, they are paying you to solve the problem, okay? And you may not have a clue how to do it, or you may have a clue, but you may not have the means, literally, how to do it. Well, this woman will give you one or the other, all right? This king, uh, queen of pentacles. Well, this person, I would say, because it could be as well a man, all right? But it's going to give you one or, or the other, or at the very least, is going to tell you how to do it, which is a, a great deal of help, make no mistake here. So the next card that we do have, it is the positive value. Yeah, we're definitely talking about cooperation. It's, it's, there is no other way to say it. I mean, you do have a, a help coming on your hand. And this, the best thing here with, the, with this third card is that that help is going to be since uh, it's, it, this person, Queen of Pentacles, isn't going to expect anything in return, really. It is because she or he really feels for you. I mean, I mean they see that you are staged up, all right? They see that, that, that this isn't a, your doing or, or this, this is not a, a situation that you should find yourself in. For example, let's say that you do have two bosses. One of them is really nasty guy here 
who wants to see you either failing or who doesn't want to hear of what kind of difficulties you are going to face dealing with this project, all right? They just want to get the job done and the other boss that you do have or someone who truly sympathizes with you, I mean, they very well know that this one, the first one here, the, the King of Swords, puts you in a position with almost certain failure if you don't get help. And they are willing to help you. They're willing to, even more, they're willing to protect you. And that's a big deal, okay? And the last card that we do have, it is the guidance that Taro is offering to you, and that will be the Eight of Wands. So before we scrutinize the reading here, card by card, let's run the cards one more time. Queen of Pentacles, it is the topic of the week, followed by the King of Swords, which stands for the challenges, very tough challenge to overcome here. I don't want to lie to you guys. Afterwards, we do have the positive aspect, which is the two of wands. And then the last one here is going to be the eight of wands, which stands for the guidance. All right. So we pretty much said about the queen of pentacles, that that is someone who is going to help you. A very proud woman of her achievements, a woman, most likely a woman. It's, it could be as well a man, but a person who achieved a lot. And they very well know how to sustain it. They very well know what it takes. Okay. And uh, that being said, they will help you. Why? It's because they see potential. It is because they see that you are, for some reason, not capitalizing on everything you have, on all the assets that you possess. Your intelligence, for example, you know, your connections, your love, your resources, and all these kind of stuff. And it doesn't have to be even about a... Um, uh, it doesn't have to be about work. Let's say you are in a relationship, all right? And the father of your partner, uh, it kind of uh, expects a lot of you. For example, they have that premeditated mind that their son or that their daughter has to marry for someone wealthy, has to marry for someone who follows a strict rules, who meets certain expectations. There are a lot of families like that, all right? But the mother itself is more open-minded. The mother itself understands that everything, it's about mutual trust. I mean, even if you are successful, even if you are uh, sleeping under a, a monetary values, and even if you are uh, kind of like very strict, if her son doesn't trust you, okay, and it's even if her and if her son does not uh, kind of feel warmth around you, what kind of a relationship or a marriage is that gonna be? And for that reason, you're gonna have her full support, okay. So we do have two parties which are almost with equal forces, but one of the party supports you, the other. It's not like it's against you, but does expects from you. And this party who is with you will help you to meet those expectations so you get your door open. It's as simple as that. The accompanied card here is going to be the Four of Swords formation. It is a uh, passive enemies. And there, there is nothing to talk about with this person. I mean, they pretty much made up their mind with these cards. I mean, they will, like I said, they will not request anything in return, all right? You don't have to convince them in anything. You don't have to display your concerns to them. Well, you do. It's not the concerns, the word that I was searching for. You don't have to explain your reasons, okay, behind it. You just uh, you just you are what you are and they are taking you for what you are and they like what you are and they see how big potential you do have so you don't have to convince them or prove yourself into this queen of pentacles any longer all right you do have her the point here or rather like the struggle is going to be to win also this one because winning this one well that gives you power well that gives you um everything you need to achieve your goal because this one very intelligent person this one very authoritarian person someone who exerts control someone who expects to be followed someone who despites people who questions him someone who knows how to make things happen okay and when they shoot you with uh, their expectations they know how they are to meet those expectations. What I mean is that this person isn't unreasonable here. You know, whatever they give you to do or whatever they ta whatever task they are they assign to you, they can do it. So this is why they are expecting you to do it as well. 
okay so if this is your boss your boss tells you to close a certain deal well that means that your boss can close that deal and if they close it for you well obviously they don't need you all right but the deal itself may prove very difficult for you so this is why you are going to have a uh, a support from the management from another boss of yours from your super supervisor and all these kind of stuff the accompanied card with the king, it is the uh, Eight of Swords here, and you cannot really twist their minds. I mean, like I said, pretty black or white person, you are either good or you are either no good. There is no middle middle ground behind it, and uh, it's it's you don't have to take it personal as well with these cards. This person is like this with everybody around, and. Uh, uh, it's it's like a a matter of respect, but with them respect, it is not earned by outer look. It's earned by actions. Okay, it's earned by intelligence. It's earned by you showing how capable you are. It's earned by you showing how you do not bend in the face of difficulty or in the face of danger as well. It, it it's earned through showing that. Even though they may be intimidating, you are not afraid of them, okay? So this is how you earn the respect and the trust and also the allegiance with the King of Swords. A hell of an, of an allegiance. To be honest, I would prefer to be allied with like, the King of Swords rather than uh, with the Emperor because... This is just for example, because uh, the Emperor, it's... Uh, it's a very calculative person, for example, and if you are a la uh, if you are in allegiance with someone who is marked by the emperor card, and you are chasing something, you know the emperor is not going to do something at all cost. While if you are ally with the king of swords, someone threatens you, the king of swords will spare no resources whatsoever to simply destroy your rival, your antagonist your enemy or whatever. This is a, a big deal here that we do have. This is someone you definitely want on your side, okay? So that leads us to the next card here, guys, which stands for the uh, positive aspect of the week. And we do have the Two of Cups, which uh, again points to the cooperation in between you and the uh, Queen of Pentacles. You know, uh, it's not, I wouldn't say balanced cooperation, but the Queen of Pentacles is going to take you as an equal. Even though she, I'm saying she because it's a queen, uh, she stands above you as a uh, achievement, you know, as a uh, monetary value as well. Uh, uh, as a um, how can I place the experience in life? She is gonna take you as an equal. Why? It is because she's not ju judgmental in the sense of that she doesn't know what you have been through. Okay, and for that reason, she's fully aware that everybody goes through its own battles, and it's gonna be foolish to judge someone just because of where they are finding themselves right now, because you never know are you going to need their help in the future, right? And as she does that completely out of purity right now towards you, you know, it will be good if you return the favor when you can, all right? When you, when this woman kind of faces difficulties because although she has a lot to work with, she is also a human, right? And she can face the difficulty. So we're talking about a very beautiful friendship and a cooperation partnership that you are going to establish, that you are going to have each other's back. Additionally to that, the, the Two of Cups says that everybody else that it is not involved into the situation is not going to give you a hard time at all. As a matter of fact, if they cannot be helpful, they will simply disappear. So they, don't, they do not distract you. They do not kind of like... Um, crosses your path and all these kind of stuff. The accompanied card here is going to be the Two of Swords. So we do have double twos, a number of passiveness, and a number of fellowship, which means that you got to follow her advice. I mean, her advice is something that is going to place you in a, uh, a very dominant position because we do have an, a, a passive, uh, passive neutrals. And as a passive neutral, the Two of Swords to the Two of Cups, it uh, does represent tipping off the scale of the balance in your favor. Because uh, the queen knows something you don't, okay? 
and uh, only by you showing how open you are for that cooperation, only then she's going to divulge you that information you need in order to tip the scale of the balance in your favor. So we're talking about you getting the upper hand over a very intimidating person who does not do it uh, personally really, but it's because their job or it's because who they are, it's because they know that they can do it, it is because they do have the power to do it, but this power can be yours. You know, this is the only test that you ha can, that you need to overcome. And then the last card that we do have, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. And I will draw one more card because I don't want to lie to you with this one. Um, because in this follow-up, it could in interpret in many, many different ways. But there we do have in an active neutrals once again here. Eight of Wands to the World card. It shows continuous, um, uh, continuous endeavor. Something that does not have to end where it's supposed to end. Something that can bring up benefits for a, a long duration. Like, for example, a, a work that, uh, you know, is going to bring you a lot of monetary values uh, in, in a, a continuous future. It's, it will be a relationship, for example, that doesn't end here, but is going to be a, a something that constantly gives you room for improvement and all these kind of stuff. My point here, guys, with these two cards is that you shouldn't kind of like take it as this is the end it's it's over you know <clears throat> and that even if you kind of like prove yourself you're gonna find yourself stuck into one position to the for the rest of your life just on the contrary you gotta take it as this is just you know this is just something that opens you a room for many more possibilities it, it kind of like gives you new shores to conquer it it places your ship into new waters that has an islands of islands of treasures and these are islands are yours to explore. It's, it's, it's as simple as that. But everything starts with you allowing this Queen of Pentacles person to help you. And uh, how you're going to recognize that card or that person? Well, like I said, they will come to you with unconditional um, offer and proposal to to help you well it's it's not going to be exactly like that but they will try to give you an advice of what you are missing okay so yeah that being said uh Pisces, this was your weekly tarot reading August 12th to August uh, 18th 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're gonna see each other around until then bye